Okay, testing alternators, 1.0. Okay, what we have is a Bosch alternator, commonly found on the Yanmar 2GM, 3GM, possibly even the 1GM. And it's a fairly simple alternator. It has a built-in regulator. Um, there's your output to charge your battery, and this is the, the wire that I want to talk about. And what we're going to do is bench test alternators. Okay, so what you will need in addition to your alternator, probably a wire or two um, to connect things up. And, um, I'm using my favourite test tool from decades ago, which is a car headlight um, and two alligator clips. Um, not exactly rocket science. And the other bit you will need is a light globe. Now this is a, off the dashboard of a car like an instrument light globe and attach two wires, solder two wires to it and this is the critical bit for testing an alternator so get the battery out the way, get everything out the way um, so what we do is we connect the headlight to the big wire and to the body of the alternator and we'll sit around there and we'll get the other thing you'll need is a socket. Uh, that's a 24 millimeter. This is actually a 5/16 Imperial, but that'll do the same job. And on the end of your electric drill, get yourself one of these little attachments that go on there and put that on your alternator. Now, we spin up, keep your hands very clear of the fan blade and start it. You want a speed control one that starts off nice and slow, okay? And we'll put it on the alternator. And we'll spin it. And spin it faster, faster. And you'll see absolutely nothing happens. Right, which comes to the second part of the thing, the light globe. So, you get your wire, connect it to your negative of your battery, I'll bring the battery into the picture. And onto the body of the alternator. And then, we'll get the wire from the positive. And we will connect that to this little wire here. When you turn your ignition on, on your engine, you'll get a little light on your instrument panel with a picture of a battery or a picture of alternator or something like that. This light is what that light is. So you turn your ignition on, connects this light up to here, and then we'll see what happens. Turn the alternator up, you notice nothing's happening. And there's still a low there. And there's still a little light goes out. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work with the, the light facing straight at the camera. We'll do it again without it. Notice that the light goes out once the alternator is charging. So you've got 12 volts here and nothing here. And when the alternator is charging, it puts 12 volts here. So 12 volts either side of a battery gives no voltage to the, sorry, to the light, gives no voltage to the light, and the light will go out. Okay. So without the light, your alternator will not charge. That light is critical to the starting of an alternator charging.